full of bones and restless spirits. I did it for the children. There's a much bigger picture going on. We keep pushing this to the end. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Emma. Greetings from Las Vegas. Good morning. Hi, I love Las Vegas. Oh, I'm a native. So that makes me feel good. Thank you so much. <laughs> love it. Well, thank you for talking to me about The Gloaming, your new series on stars. Um, mm -hmm. First of all, can you even give a definition of what gloaming is? <laughs> yeah, so the, the gloaming is the kind of the in-between, the liminal space. Um, it's the time after sunset and just before dark, that beautiful kind of time and just after the sun, well, when the sun's rising, but it's also the time, um, it's also the time between life and death. So it's that kind of in-between space, which is where the characters are essentially stuck, all of them, um, in their own grief. None of them, you know, they can't move on. Um, they're kind of stuck there. So that's what that sort of represents. And your character, Molly McGee, um, is a detective. A brutal murder leads her mm -hmm. on to connections to the past and present, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's really interesting. Um, you know, she's investigating this horrific murder that goes on, uh, that they discover with um, Alex, a past lover, um, who she hasn't seen for 20 years, but um, they find something that connects a murder that they were both connected to 20 years prior. So it gets really interesting and quite complicated. It's one of these shows where you have to really be thinking a lot, but um, it's very well, interesting how it all ties together in the end, which it does. Well, critics have described the gloaming as a why done it and not a who done it. Is that kind of, is that mm -hmm. correct? Yeah, exactly. So you find out who did it pretty early on. And it's like, why did they do this? It just brings up more questions um, and more intrigue. And it's like, what is going on? It's one of these shows where you're just like, <laughs> what is going on? You know, and it's it's constantly keeping you guessing and, and on your toes. But yeah, it's it is. It's a it's a why done it. And it's also it's got a, a supernatural element to the show, so it gives it a real spooky mm -hmm. atmosphere. I, I think it's real creepy. <laughs> yes. I love everything spooky. I'm obsessed with it. So that was one of my, one of the reasons why I said yes to the show. I was like, oh, it's so spooky. So um, yeah, you have these, these, well, they're essentially ghosts um, throughout the whole show. And, and, and Tasmania itself, the way it's being kind of shot, you know, has this supernatural vibe to it where things, um, where liquids run uphill and electronics are constantly stopping and there's ghosts um, roaming around. And, you know, Tasmania actually has a, a very dark and very tragic past anyway. And so I feel the island is extremely haunted with ghosts of the past. And I, I, I personally feel that there. And I think you can kind of feel that in the show as well. And rumor has it when you were shooting the show, uh, show creator Victoria Madden, that scripts were constantly being revised. They were unfinished. She kept it like open ended. Yes, she did. Is that a good way for an yes, actress to did. work? <laughs> uh, <laughs> those moments be like, what is happening? Um, but, you know, in America, that's how they they do a lot of the shows, you know, and um, she's such a genius and she's got such an amazing kind of mind that she was like often thinking about new things and da 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 and things were changing and um new kind of plot lines and so yeah she wrote as she went but you know which was exciting but also I like to be very prepared I'm one of these actors that has to be overly prepared and I like to learn my lines right at the beginning and I like to know every bit of backstory so that I can really inject it into my performance. And, you know, it's all about the nuance to me. So it's really challenging. So the rumors are that you, I, you're an over-preparer or true? <laughs> oh my God, are the rumors out there? Yes, it's true. <laughs> but... In saying that, in that preparation of knowing my lines and knowing everything, I can let all of that go 
which means I'm very much completely in the moment when I'm delivering the performance and that's when the magic happens you're not going what what is my line or what is going on here and you know so it's definitely has its benefits well, Emma, uh, congratulations on the series. Welcome to America, streaming on Stars, The Gloaming. And when you have a chance, come visit us in Las Vegas. We'd love to have you. I will be there. It's one of my favorite places.